there have been lots of bad things about the Nebraska football team for the last few years, and, really, since the Huskers stopped dominating around the turn of the century. But particularly during Mike Riley's 1919 run over three years, the Huskers weren't just mediocre. They were also boring, even when they were pretty good. Every college offense has some spread principles in it nowadays, but Riley's offense was mostly prostyle. That can be fun if you've got good, powerful running backs bowling over people and athletic tight ends making cool catches down the seam, but Nebraska's bad offenses were not even enjoyable to watch. There were a few cool play calls that'd make you look up and say, hmm, that was kind of clever. Now Nebraska's got Scott Frost. First off, Frost offenses are good offenses. Frost had a direct hand in one of the best offensive runs by any program in this era when he was a receivers coach and then the offensive coordinator at Oregon from 2009 to 2015. The latter three years, when Frost was in charge, Oregon was fourth, fourth, and fifth in the country in scoring offense. When he took over UCF in 2016, the Knights bounced from 126th out of 128 teams in scoring offense to 66th. And this year, the no. One they just put up 62 on Memphis in an AAC title game for the ages, with Frost on his way out the door. Here's a sentence that's yet to be disproved if Frost is running your offense and you aren't coming off an 0-1-2, you're going to have an elite offense. But also, Frost offenses are fun. Nebraska will be fun again soon. Here is a lovely reverse flea flicker TD, with some misdirection by way of a pitch to set up a bomb 2 count pass against cover 2 defense. Lol at the idea of a Riley Nebraska team doing anything like that. And can I interest you in a heavily delayed option pitch that involves UCF picking on the same middle linebacker twice in one play and then scoring a rude TD? And here's Frost running the option as a scout team QB, kind of like he used to do under Tom Osborne at Nebraska but hey, Midwestern as Frost is passionate about offensive line play, too. You want an offense that's all about intricate technique and power in the trenches. The big guys are creatively involved in the Frost offense as well. Here's how it all worked at UCF in year one at UCF. It was about nailing the basics. We ran a lot of inside zone last year and had limited success. Frost said, I think going into this year with our guys understanding schemes and everything better, we wanted to mix it up a lot more. The guys have done a good job with more plays on the call sheet every week. There's still plenty of zone blocking. But where Frost's offense gets fun is in the varying ways he pulls offensive linemen. Frost's ground attack is no longer just in size zone. It's varied and deadly. Here's a backside guard no. 73 in the middle, behind where the ball's going pulling. Simple enough, right? Just a basic power play. Okay, well, here's a play side guard no. 79 on the right, heading where the ball is actually going pulling. Frost enjoys run-pass options, where the offense's goal is to force the defense into making the wrong decisions no matter what choices it makes. Like this Frost's offenses don't outright rely on mobile quarterbacks, but having a QB run game element is pretty important to what Frost does. His Oregon offenses leaned on the running threat posted from quarterbacks Marcus Mariatar and Vernon Adams, and he started to use UCF's Mackenzie Milton much more in the running game this year. We can expect Frost to recruit dual threat types to Lincoln, not statues who sit back in the pocket. Frost isn't a mad scientist. He's just good. Frost has a particular flair for trickery with pulling offensive linemen, and he's clearly a good offensive mind. But some of this stuff's standard, just taught and executed well. Frost will make Nebraska better without reinventing the wheel himself. I don't think Chip Kelly gets enough credit for affecting college football. Frost told SB Nation this year, name-checking his Oregon boss and the new UCLA head coach. You look back at when he started this offense. Everyone else was running something that looked more prostyle. Now, you look around the country and everyone's running a version of spread. A lot of them are tempo, and a lot of the schemes that we are running back in 07, 08, and 09, everybody's running. Across the country, a lot more eyeballs are going to be on Nebraska going forward.